Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach. And these are the NEC changes for this specific topic. We're gonna start with the 17 as our base into the 2020 and in the 2023. I have to recommend that you use these videos for educational purposes only. Be sure to pull permits on all wiring projects, working closely with your local electrical inspector to make sure that you have an NEC code compliant installation. I just want to see you guys win. And a part of us all winning is that we do all electrical work legally, morally, and ethically. Let's get to it. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about code placement. In the 2017, it is 406.9C, and it happens to be the same in the 20 and the 23. The reason why I always talk about code placement is because things are moving, sections and articles are being moved and deleted, so it's super important that we establish where we're at in the code book, so you can go up and reference all of this yourself. Now, let's get to it. All right, so let's go ahead and read the code first, and then we'll look at application. So let's look at 406.9c, and let's talk about it. It says bath and chub, bath and chub, bath and tub shower space. Receptacle shall not be installed within or directly over a bathtub or shower stall. So in this code cycle, it's very simple. Let's take the shower stall first on the right-hand side. It's saying that, hey, you can't have one inside of the shower. That makes sense. But you could place one right here. You could place one just outside the shower, but you would be not allowed to place it in the zone above that shower. And it just says above it. It doesn't limit how many feet. It just says above that tub or shower stall, you're not allowed to do it. Now let's look at this tub over here on the left-hand side. Well, uh, according to the NEC, in my interpretation, of course, work with your local electrical inspector, you could put a receptacle right there in the 2017. But then it says you would not be allowed to put it above the tub space, and it doesn't limit how high that is. So in the 2017, these are the requirements, but definitely work with your local electrical inspector. Do I think you should put a receptacle that close to the tub? I do not. But now let's look how they addressed and corrected this in the 2020 and in the 2023 NECs. All right, so let's go ahead and get to it. I left the two receptacles there and let's see if they are code compliant. Let's head to our 2020 NEC. We're reading again from 406.9C and let's see what it has to say. So we have a bunch of highlighted text, which means that it's brand new text. It says receptacles shall not be installed within the zone measured three foot horizontally and eight foot vertically from the top of the tub rim or the shower stall threshold. The identified zone shall be all encompassing and include the spaces directly over the tub stall. And there is an exception there for small bathrooms. I'm gonna wait till after the 2023 that we check it out here in that way because the exception is the same in both of them and that way I can explain it. You know, what if I have a small bathroom? But first let's break down the code. So what this code is stating, let's deal with over the tub first. So they've now made a uh, limit, right? There's, and this kind of is following along the lines of the lighting requirements that we find in, I think, 410, but I'd have to look. But with that being said, now from the top rim of that tub, eight foot tall, and then of course the shower on the right-hand side is obviously, you know, that's gonna include the eight feet because it does stop at the structural ceiling um, as long as it's, and they don't really address that in this, they may have to address that later. But for now, we're gonna call the structural ceiling the top, right? But in this case, from eight foot above that, and it says three foot out from both sides. So that would look like this as far as a shaded area, and that would look like this. So you can see, you know, maybe some of the problems that this might create. Let me get my pointer out here. What if this was your bathroom and you wanted to put a receptacle right here? Not going to happen in the 2020 NEC. You literally would not be able to put one here, 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 all the way across. You'd, you'd be limited to the spaces right here. And then you have to follow all of the other codes that are in the NEC. So just be mindful of that. Now, there is one exception for small bathrooms that only have three feet or for small bathrooms. And we're going to cover that here in just a moment. But for now, let's look at the 2023. All right, the 2023 is very similar, but I'm going to read it. And they've had to add some verbiage because every time a code comes out, there's always somebody that thinks of the most, some one of the persons out in the field or a homeowner thinks of the wildest way that you can interpret it. And then they have to go back and the code making panels have to correct it to deal with this addition. But, or, and sometimes they're not wild. Sometimes they're very valid points uh, because even the people making the code panels are just people. And we're all just working together trying to make this better. But let's read it from the code and then we'll talk about it. And this is all highlighted text, meaning they've reworded it or added it. 
It says receptacles shall not be installed inside of the tub or shower or within the zone measured from three feet out side of any edge of the bathtub or shower stall, including the space outside of the tub or shower stall below the zone. So we had to encompass below because let's look at the tub here on the right. You could argue that maybe this little crack right here is not in that zone because it's hidden somehow by an invisible you know, line right here. So listen, it includes from floor to ceiling, essentially, to eight foot above the rim of that. Not floor to ceiling, but it includes from floor to eight foot above that point. So just keep that in mind. But let's look at the encompassing zones here. We have the eight foot rule again. We have the three foot and we would end up in this scenario. Now, here in a moment, we're going to talk about the exceptions for short bathrooms, but I want to point out some exceptions that they added in to the 2023 that were not in the 2020 version. So exception one is receptacles installed in accordance with 680.23 shall be permitted. We're not going to get into that today. Exceptions two is for the small bathrooms. Exception three is a new one. It says weight supporting ceiling receptacles. So these new lights that are kind of like receptacles that you just plug in. It has a, a male and a female adapter and you literally just plug the light in. It's saying that those are an exception as long as they're, you know, meet all the parameters. And then number four is very interesting. This is another exception. It says in a dwelling unit, a single receptacle, meaning a single receptacle, shall be permitted for an electronic toilet or personal hygiene device such as a bidet. That receptacle shall be readily accessible and not located in the space between the toilet and the tub or shower. So let's pull our pointer out here. Let's say that this was a bidet. It's saying, hey, you can be in this three foot zone, has to be a single receptacle. But the way I read this code, you couldn't put it over here on the right hand side. You'd have to put it over here on the left hand side. But you can work with your electrical inspector on that. Now let's jump to the next slide and let's talk about what if I'm in a small bathroom? What do I do? Let's get to it. All right, so let's imagine that this is our bathroom and we're going to say this is the cutoff wall and that this is a stud. And imagine that we're walking straight into this bathroom. So you've opened the door, you walk in, you have your shower on the right, you have your commode right there, and we're taking a look at this now. So let's say that from the front of that shower over, it's less than three feet. So the code's still saying, hey, you can't put this just anywhere in here. It has a prescription. And I'm going to read from the 23. And it says, in bathrooms with less than the required zone, the receptacle that's required by 210.52D shall be permitted to be installed opposite the bathtub rim or shower stall threshold on the farthest wall within the room. So you can work that out with your inspector. Does that mean right here it could go? I'm thinking it means on this face wall that's turning back toward the door because there's going to be obviously a face wall of drywall or something coming back toward our imaginary door here. I think it would have to be on that wall, the farthest possible thing. And the drive of this is, and I don't know, uh, you know, if you're guilty of this, but, but, you know, somebody trying to plug their phone in and sit in the bathtub while they're on their phone. And that's one example or a radio or fill in the blank here or be on your laptop. I mean, there's just a million things that we should not do. And this, you know, that's driving these codes. Now, can you do something you're not supposed to do anyways? Yes. But what we're trying to do is set it up for those who are untrained and don't think about it, not to be able to just plug it in and do it without it being something that they have to really think about what they're doing. And if they put the receptacle right next to the shower, there's not a lot of thought that has to go in plugging it in and, you know, charging your phone while you're sitting in the bathtub or something. So I'm all about these changes. And I think, of course, there's always room for improvement. I think they've got this one down uh, really well. And I'm really uh, happy with everything that the code making panel team ha does, all of them, not just this one. And I hope that you guys learned a little bit from this video. My bargain is that these videos will add value to you and you will in turn add value to others. If there's anything that I can do to help you in life or business, you can always just email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Let's get to it.